Hi, and welcome back to Bill Sickler Groom. Well, it's been quite a while since I did a video, and um, a number of reasons for this. One of them, I've not been going around the fish shops uh, very much, so I haven't bought any new fish. So there's not been much happening in the, in the Sickler Groom. So I, didn't, I just didn't bother making a video. Uh, the other reason, um, that as happens to us all from time to time, you sort of lose interest. Um, to not lose interest completely because at the end of the day they are live animals that we're keeping but yeah and I've got really behind on my maintenance um, I mean it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I've done uh, like any water changes um, so yeah I've been slowly getting up to date on doing my water changes I've been chatting to Paul Needham um, for the Fish Northwest so he's been trying to get me back into it again <laughs> Uh, he is really good at that um, and I've actually had a delivery of fish today so I thought let's have a look at some of the fish that I have actually done the maintenance on the tanks and get a quick update on those so just before we start looking at the fish uh, just a, an announcement really it's the Northwest Cichlid Group auction the first Sunday in November so here's the leaflet so if you're interested in booking any lots for it, if you email the address shown on the leaflet, uh, if not, make a date in the diary, and if you're in the Northwest round about that time, it'd be great to see you uh, come along and hopefully grab some bargains. Well, here they are, the Nandopsis, Tetracanthus, the Cuban Cichlid. So I've had these about two months now, so yeah, they've done quite a lot of growing. Some nice patterns in them. Still too young to sex whether the male and females. But yeah, the patterns in there, that one there looks really nice. So yeah, I've still got all 12 of them. So I'd say they're about, what, inch and a half, two inch? So yeah, they've, they've more than doubled in size since I've got them. Yeah, I mean, this is a long project, this one, so this will take oh, probably another six months before the, you can sex them reliably, and probably another 12 months until they start trying to pair off. And probably uh, attacking each other. <laughs> but that's a problem for the later date, as I've said once before. So yeah, really, really pleased with these. Sure, I'll keep showing them periodically and then um, we can see the progress in them because it, it's really good as well looking back on the videos. It does look like the are or Tetracanthus this time and not uh, like the Black Nasties like last time when there was a few of them mixed in with them. I do like the Tetracanthus, I mean the, the, the coloration in the adults are fantastic. So it's only these that I've got in the tank. Uh, so yeah, they've got a three foot tank all to themselves. So this is the other tank to have a look at. So this is the Amatolania Kenna. Uh, so as you might remember I got these I think it was last September at the BCA auction and um, so there is a cutter eye in here which is this one here so yeah if you'd ignore the cutter eye but yeah the Kenna so yeah I've had them about 12 months so yeah they're doing really well uh, I think I've lost one or two but yeah the rest of them are doing really well um, in a group so they do actually spawn from time to time but I've been that busy doing other stuff that I haven't actually like pulled any out to actually raise up but there are a few youngsters swimming in here and um, can't see any at the moment but yeah th there are a few of them in there but yeah really pleased with these so yeah the, the group's doing really well uh, no bickering in there so yeah, they are very very similar to the convict cichlid 
uh, I've mentioned this before and actually went into a bit more detail on one of the older videos but yeah let me know what you think Is one of the youngsters so yeah they've just left these in the tank as they've been spawning and uh, yet this one survived door is similar so there's a couple of those in there as well so get the Amatelania Kenna so this is the box that I've had some new fish delivered and um, which arrived today so I'm just acclimatizing them at the moment so I've got them floating to come up to temperature so we'll do a video on that on the next one and let you know what I've actually got so thanks for watching, I hope you agreed the Tetracanthus, the Cuban Cichlid and the Amatelania Kenna are doing really well and I'll get the other video out on the new fish that I've got as soon as possible and um, probably going to be early next week but yet yeah, stay tuned for that and I'm back.